Hey guys, one clue here. I hope all of you are doing really well and having a really good day. In today's video, do we want to talk about the BitX web flasher, what you can do with it, and what has changed? So as you can see, we are back again on our PC, and some of you might have used my web flasher that I created. It is basically just a simple tool that is utilizing some stuff in the background and you can flash your BitX device with a factory file to test self-tests of the device and make sure it is properly working. I also added a couple other things such as the node eggs and the node noise in there, but I changed it. And as you can tell, this web flash here is deprecated and will be shut down by the end of the week. It is the end of the week and I will shut it down today. So in order to maintain the functionality of doing cool stuff online with this website uh, or with a web flasher, you need to use the new one. And let me tell you, we do have a new one and it is beautiful. <laughs> I, I, I don't wanna highlight myself. It, it, it is, I, I took some inspiration. I, I was looking at different things and I redesigned it. And maybe some of you are now wondering like, like what the heck? Why should I use a new web flasher? What's wrong with the old one? So first of all, there are two reasons. First things first, yeah, it is. it has a new UI. It looks different. It is more beautiful than you want, I'd say. And the second and more important feature is that you can now utilize the web flasher with multiple different browsers. So you can now use all Chromium browsers. You're not limited only to Google Chrome and Microsoft Edge. Now you can use Brave and what so on. What you still cannot use is uh, Safari and Firefox. They will not work, but this is due to another reason. Nevertheless, let me quickly go into that and let me show you what you can do. Because uh, earlier today I had a pull request and a new feature came into it, which is lovely and I want to show it to you. So first things first, on top here we do see BitX Web Pleasure. We do see a live counter of how many people are on our Discord server, which is amazing. And if you click on it, it will drag you over to our invite so that you can join the uh, the Discord of the Open Source Miners United community, which is great. If we click on features, it will go down. We see fast flashing, it is web-based and it supports multiple boards and modules. Yeah, that's correct. If you click on get started, you will get a quick overview here on the side of connected BitX, click connect device, select the device model, and so on. And uh, if you need more instructions, we do have a documentation on osmu.wiki. I do have a couple of Easter eggs here. Uh, have fun finding them. And you can switch it to light mode, but I highly recommend not to do it. Let's now take a look on the functionality. So the core behind the BitX web flasher on the old one was the ESP tool script. And now everything is based on a ESP tool Node.js implementation. It is basically the same, but it functions different in how it works with everything in the backend, which is great, which allows us a couple other things. And if you now click on connect and I select, for example, the BitX Gamma, you now have a beautiful feature, which is highlighted here, start logging. If we click on that, you see, I get all my logs. I can stop logging. I can click on download logs. I can save it. I can open it. And you do see, we see all the logs. So now what you can do is you can actually download the log. You can live log your BitX device in the web. You don't need to install anything. You don't need to use anything. You just go to the bitx.org.github.io slash bitx dash web dash flasher website. That's it, period. Link to that will be in the video description down below, obviously. But now let's uh, take a look on all the other things. So we do have a device selector. And in this case, I do have a gamma that is on here. And if I click on that, I can select the board version as you do see 601 is there. And this is a feature that was implemented yesterday on GitHub, Weird Robot, if I'm not mistaken, thank you for doing that, which is basically a firmware version selection. Initially, I was not thinking of implementing that because I only wanted to upload the newest shit to this website, but he thought it might be a good idea. So yeah, why not? I mean, there are plenty of things for and against it. 
uh, but now you can select firmware. I'm still thinking about how many versions I will keep in there, probably the newest and the version before that. So you will only find two versions in here, which should be fine. Yeah, and then you could click on start flashing. I don't want to do that right now because my camera is hashing. Uh, let's dive into other things. For the Super, for example, we do have three different boards. Uh, for the Ultra, we do have a couple more, two, 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 four, two, five. So sometimes you will not see all the board versions, such as uh, two, one, two, three, and two, six, or two, seven, for example. On the max, you will only find the one or two. This is due to the reason on, on of how many of these specific board versions have actually been sold and how many people are actually using them. For example, if you use a BitX Ultra 205, it's absolutely fine if you flash the 204 version onto it. You can flash the 205 version onto it, but it should function with the 204 version. Same as if you do have a 205 and uh, if you do have a 206 and you flash the 205 version on it, it should work. So for this, for example, we only have the 240 version. Not everything is there for everything, but it is a better selection option, I think, for all of you. And that's the reason why this one has been rewritten and is now out there. And I just wanted to highlight that, that there's a new option, especially for logging, as, as you've seen, like just click on start logging. Uh, in this case, you see there's an error and I will explain why. If you connect your device and you select versions that you want to flash, it will disable the logging functionality for a specific reason. The reason for that is there are two things in the background going on. We have for one, the serial that is provided by your browser. And then we do have an ESP loader, which is used to actually flash firmware files. So if I would now try to connect things to it and click on start logging, it will not work. So what I would need to do is I need to reset the website. I need to connect again to it and then I can log it. This is something that I need to work on that it will disconnect after a couple of things, but you do get the point. It is not that hard to press Control, Shift and R to just reload the page. It's super easy, so don't worry about that. But now you can download these logs, which is the most important part, especially if you think about, hey, my BitX is not working. Yeah, no worry. Just go up to the BitX webflow shell and start logging and show us the logs. You do get the point. It's perfect. And with that, I thank everybody for watching and see you on the next one.